fight you. Goliath started looking and what he saw coming over the brook was a bare-legged shepherd boy, staff in one hand. Goliath said, am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? I will tear you limb from limb, feed you to the birds. David suddenly dropped his staff, began running towards Goliath. His actions seemed futile, but only thing was as he was running, he was shouting, I come to you in the name, hallelujah, of the Lord of hosts. I come to you in the name of one who has never lost a battle. David said a prayer, reached into that bag, pulled out a stone, loaded it in his sling, began twirling it, and when it came out of that sling, it came out like a missile on a mission. It came like, <laughs> it came out like a bullet with a purpose. That stone exploded on the forehead of Goliath, crashing through his cranium, embedding itself into his frontal lobes. Goliath immediately went blind, and he began pawing at his forehead, trying to extricate that stone, that, uh, that smooth stone. An angel was carrying that stone with power to its destination. The wound was not only impaired his vision, but it was fatal. And like a tree falling in the wilderness, Goliath fell to the ground. Now let me tell you why God had me preach this message to you young people today. You see, every one of you have been called to be little Davids. Each and every one of you, you two go through life, it will become increasingly clear to you that you have your own Goliaths to fight. Now, for you, a Goliath is anything or anyone that stands in the way of God's purpose for your life being fulfilled. Thank you for listening to the program today. If you've been blessed and would like to sow a seed into this ministry, by supporting us with your generous financial gifts. As my way of saying thank you, I would like to send you my recording of favorite hymns. Hymns like Amazing Grace, It Is Well With My Soul. Just send us an email by going to moreabundantliferadio.com or you can write us at P.O. Box 648008, Vero Beach, Florida. 32964. That's P.O. Box 648008, Vero Beach, Florida 32964. Until next time, remember the words of Jesus I came that you might have life, and that life might be the more abundant life. Genesis 43. Now the famine was severe in the land, and when they had eaten the grain that they had brought from Egypt, their father said to them, Go again, buy us a little food. But Judah said to him, The man solemnly warned us, saying, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. If you will send our brother with us, we will go down and buy you food. But if you will not send him, we will not go down. For the man said to us, You shall not see my face unless your brother is with you. Israel said, Why did you treat me so badly as to tell the man that you had another brother? They replied, The man questioned us carefully about ourselves and our kindred, saying, Is your father still alive? Do you have another brother? What we told him was an answer to these questions. Could we in any way know that he would say, Bring your brother down? And Judah said to Israel, his father, Send the boy with me, and we will arise and go, that we may live and not die, both we and you, and also our little ones. 